Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about debunking. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what advice that software engineers usually get should, uh, should really be debunked? Well, there's quite a few of those like different advi uh, advice and so forth that people give on the internet and so forth that we can sit here and we can debunk it for all. I mean I'm not gonna have time to go through everything from that uh, microservices will save the day to that uh, uh, everything is about Golang the, these days or that uh, machine learning is the future or that um, Mobile, f uh, m mobile application development is uh, going to beat the web, or like th there's so much. Like there, there is so, 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 so many things that we could address. But I'm going to pick the one that, in most recent time, has had the, that has had me bothered a little bit, and that is the advice that you should go into management as quickly as possible because there's no future for a middle-aged uh, software engineer. That is a complete and utter fat big lie. I know this for a fact because I have so far never worked in a company where there hasn't been more than a few people in their 30s and their 40s. And in my la at my last companies, I think that the top brass, there were all um, either close to 50 and in one case he, he was actually 50 plus. And these were software developers, like uh, software engineers. Uh, they uh, one was a team lead and so forth. But the, w what I'm saying is that this idea that you like that software engineering is a twenty-something or very early thirties person's game is absolute bullshit. It's complete bullshit. Uh, there is an ageism, definitely. I will not lie to you. If you get if you start getting too old. Uh, people are you're going to see a drop in popularity yes you will but I also want to stress something and that is that the thing that is going to keep you gainfully employed or the thing that's going to make you fairly secure in your in your position within the marketplace has more to do with your personal growth than your age because there's quite a lot of companies who are looking for different types of roles and that's the thing that I feel is a little bit I, I think that the, this is what I like to call it the factory workers mindset and for me the factory workers mindset or the factory workers career strategy is that okay I will learn how to operate this machine at, on this assembly line and I'm gonna stand here and do this exact thing now for 40 years that's what I'm gonna do and if you work that way, if you think that way, then yes, there's no wonder when the factory shuts down that nobody's going to hire you because now you, know, you started doing this when you were 19 and now you're, uh, you know, 50 or uh, closing in on 60. And, well, why would I hire you? You're going to retire soon and I don't want to do that. I can just hire another 19 year old who can do the thing that you're doing. Because if you haven't evolved as a human being, then you're not. It doesn't matter if you're 60 or you're 19. You're you're as useful regardless of what where you are. And that's the thing that experience is supposed to be about. Experience is supposed to be something that puts you above the person who is 19. You may not uh, be able to be above them in terms of like, physical prowess. I mean. If a 20 or something is uh, has one thing that it is going to be health, it's going to be youth, it's going to be physical strength, all these things. But um, guys, if you look around at the world, there's not that many roles where maximum physical prowess is the determining factor in how good you do and how well you do. The thing that actually really, really, really is mm -hmm. The thing that makes the difference is your intellect, your experience, your ability to produce results, to lead people, to lead conversations, to produce results. And that is something that someone with experience can do, in many cases, a lot better than someone who doesn't have experience. It's not exclusive, of course, 
but it is absolutely possible. So the thing that I really think that we should change about the way that we explain we, when we say that well you should be careful because uh, it's a uh, programming is a dead end job after 30 instead of saying that I think that we should say programming is a job where if you want to stay employed f and relevant you need to continuously work at it and exp and continuously grow as a person it's not a 9 to 5 gig where you just plug out and you flip burgers you you have to work at it if you want to stay employed uh, until your retirement year so if you want to, I mean even if let's say for the sake of argument that you get fired and you have been doing personal development and all this stuff and you've been making the right decisions along the way you've been paying attention you're still at that age you're I promise you you're going to be in a position where you can start your own consultancy firm or your own IT company because if you've been paying attention you should by the time you get to be 30 35 40 whatever be in a position position where you're basically in your prime at that time I have I have co-workers who are getting to they're pushing 40 now they're very close to 40 and they are getting just as many offers as I am and I'm in my early 30s now I'm 33 something like that and the uh, like the, the and then we have junior developers who are like in their mid 20s they are also getting offers but not as many as lucrative as my older co-workers it's uh, like uh, this idea that if you if you if you don't transition from being a software developer then you're useless by by age 30 or whatever it is absolute bullshit but it re it re and i mean I work with people who are hired because they are a little bit older as well. But as I said, just being older is actually it, that's not a good thing. Being more, being wise, being wiser, being more experienced—that is a very good thing. And as long as you can have the the idea with you that you continue to improve yourself and you expand your influence and you um, uh, you understand that your personality and, and hunger and attitude towards the work that you do combined with your experience is the thing that's going to give you your market value well I can promise you that you're going to be able to stay in IT for a really 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 long time so what I want you to take away from this is that I think that the biggest advice or myth or whatever we need to debunk in IT is that you have to become a manager to be successful in IT or that you have to very quickly transition from or like cash out join a startup get money out quick so that you can do something completely different because you can only be a software developer until you're 29 and the second you move into 30 it's over that's not how it works guys some of the best if not the best developers in the world are not in their early 20s some of the most important influential influential people I know myself who basically run the show are in their 30s and their 40s an early 20s something developer is basically just learning the basic the basics of the industry and as I said the difference between such a person and someone who has several years more of experience should be measurable because if the advice that this is a dead-end job for you is definitely true if you have the factory workers mindset or their career strategy if you just learn the bare minimum to do the job and you stay there and you never evolve then yes this is going to be a dead-end job for you have a great day